oh my god why was that so low oh that was terribly low hopefully that's better is that better chat i blame <laughs> i blame boogie this is all boogie's fault coming in hot coming in hot at the decibel level so low you couldn't even hear it had to have grandma wandering around what is that yeah you why did you steal my hearing aids jimmy i can't hear the stream grandma because his streamer obviously doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Got a little heated. Came in a little hot. As I was saying, it was going to be a boogie stream. I had it planned out. Boy, is he a fuck up of monumental proportions. A lot of stuff lined up for that. It was going to be a very long boogie stream. Could be even longer stream talking about what happened. I've tuned out. I have for the last couple of years dealing with my illness and dying and all of that it's pretty easy to do that to be apathetic i've always been accused of being a nihilist to begin with and when trump first ran for president he didn't really have policies or a platform that appealed to me i was worried about government overreach worried about the Nath or national uh, defense authorization act and uh gitmo and all this other shit that was going on and i didn't see that being really addressed but i like the shit posting and i found it amusing and then Biden becomes his uh, his opponent in the next election. I thought, oh, there's no way he's going to lose to that. Didn't really care. Had my own shit to deal with. But what's been going on is so fucking far-fetched and ridiculous. So, so over the line. So blatant and in your face for the last three, four, five years that I, I have to talk about it. I can't just be uh, jovially uh, laughing at fat idiots on the internet that uh, don't pay their child support and flee to other countries or scam because they've got some uh, bullshit cancer story or uh, do some cryptocurrency bullshit or, you know, the, the myriad of other wacky characters, the zany people that inhabit the internet. When it feels like my country has just gone full on uh, retarded. And I don't know how else to put it. We have a president in the Oval, or the Oval Office, who is a doddering old man. He obviously has some mental issues. And that's not something that's been hidden. That's something everybody's been talking about on the left and the right for years now. Whether it's uh, joking stories about him shitting himself in front of the Pope, falling down the stairs more than Gerald Ford ever did, getting lost, using a teleprompter, handing out questions to every single interview he does, meandering and wandering off like he's 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 on acid. He's taking shrooms. You've got to, like, tarred wrangle him if you bring him to a conference because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just a, he's a confused old man. It's like all the old rumors about Ronald Reagan and his wife having to keep him under control with a jar of jelly beans because he'd lost his mind. Except you're watching it play out in real time. Joe Biden is checked out. He's not there. I don't know who's running the country, but it's not Joe Biden. Let's just be fucking honest. And the Democrats obviously are a little scared with what's going on with him because they're letting him make a fool of himself publicly now. They've taken the gloves off. They're letting you see the full impact of it. Fucking up people's names, fucking up dates, fucking up events, saying weird things, doing weird things, acting weirdly. He did terrible at his debate. He doesn't really instill a lot of confidence that he's mentally there to be able to handle the office of the presidency. And all the time that's going on, all the time that's going on, you've got some extremely wealthy people, some people that are, are the heads of major internet platforms and major special interest groups that are fucking terrified of Donald Trump. I don't think it's anybody, I, I, don't, I don't think anybody's under the, uh, you know, illusion. You know, you're not confused when you look back at how they didn't take it seriously when he ran the first time. He'll never win. Oh, boy, wasn't that fun? Colbert and everybody else, all the late-night jokes and the articles. Silly old Donald Trump will never win. He doesn't have a chance in hell. So nobody took him seriously. And then he got elected president. And that scared the shit out of these people. That scared the ever-loving fuck out of these people. They fucked up. And they knew they fucked up. They fucked up because they let you Talk about shit you wanted to talk about. Your memes and your jokes and your sarcasm. Your disillusionment with the body politic. They just thought they could just bulldoze their way through it. That nothing was going to happen. And he gets elected. 
and they flip the fuck out. You want to talk about how there's been a lockdown on our freedom of speech and our ability to say what we want to do and uh, express our thoughts online? That really went into overdrive after he got elected because they realized they held the keys to the kingdom with social media. By allowing people to talk about what they wanted to talk about on platforms in a way they wanted to talk about it, they let him get elected. People talked about how they were sick of politics, how they were fucking tired of it. And if you think that's just a right-wing thing, it's not. The left went through something similar with Obama. He came in, he was going to be the young black Kennedy. Remember that? And instead he expanded presidential powers. He didn't get rid of Gitmo. He didn't get rid of anything. And they became disillusioned with it. So here's the rights chance, right? We got a guy on our side. Oh, boy. He's going to come in and he's going to change everything. And people love talking about that. He was rude and crude, said shit people didn't uh, say. <laughs> and polite company. And people loved it. It resonated with them. It felt real to them. And they spread his word everywhere. They got really invested, really involved. All the grifters came out and they made a shit ton of money. But you had the diehard true believers and they spread that fucking message. He gets elected president, they shit themselves. And they realize we can't ever fucking let this happen again. We are going to lock shit down. You look at the social media platforms and the content sharing platforms you use today and the rules that are in place right now, they are in place directly because of this man. You think uh, things have become totalitarian and their terms of service? You're right. They have been. That's, that's the direction it has taken. Go watch a YouTube video where somebody talks about um, anything and watch them self-censor themselves. And I'm not even talking about saying edgy words anymore at this point. Oh, the slur words and the racial words and things like that. If a story comes up talking about sex abuse or rape, you can't say that. They'll bleep it out. They'll put a little asterisk in the word now. <laughs> Certain things are just verboten. Nothing uncomfortable. Nothing, you know, nothing real world anymore can be discussed. That's just YouTube, but that's, that's everywhere else. That's been shoved down your throat everywhere else. And that was the game plan. Lock it down so this guy can't win again. And boy, they threw that into practice when it was him versus Biden. And now, now where are we? Now he's getting fucking shot. Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt because they are that scared that he could become president again. I know, the eponymous they. Who is they, Jim? Well, I'd say it's a conglomeration of all the groups that have come together that hate Donald Trump and want this country to continue its descent into madness. You talk about an issue like immigration. You talk about the southern border. And I don't think you're going to get a lot of pushback, even from people on the left, because they recognize there's something a little fucky going on down there. Remember, Biden was the one who was supposed to come in, and he was going to, he was going to bring some kind of a reasonable stance to this. And then when the gates were thrown wide open, what did he do? He threw Kamala right under the bus. Oh, no, she's in charge. <laughs> Kamala Harris, that's the one who's in charge of the southern border. That's why it's so terrible, is we have millions of people flooding across it. Well, I don't know what's going on. I mean, look at, look at what is going on in this fucking country. You don't even need to look. Uh, God, you could look at the entire West Coast. Let's be honest. Look at Washington, Oregon, and uh, California. Look at the district attorneys that are in power there. How many times have we seen uh, really extremist, leftist, Antifa members go around burning and destroying shit, and then if they get arrested, and it's not a federal charge, it's a state charge, the DAs, whatever county they happen to be in, lets them go. They recruit right out of homeless camps, they recruit drug addicts, they recruit extremists, they let them go around and pillage and burn shit to the ground, because the idea is a narco-tyranny. They're going to make you so afraid to defend yourself and trust the government that you just give up, that you just hide in your fucking house. That's the goal. And they propagate this message through mainstream media. They propagate this message through the refusal to prosecute. They propagate this message by making you afraid to talk or to act or to get together as a group or to vote. And it's reached the point where they're so brazen now, this conglomeration, this ephemeral uh, coagulation, of these different groups, that they're just willing to straight up shoot at them now. But, oh, boy, did it backfire. Oh, who, who would have ever guessed 
you know, the leftists that are so obsessed with fucking Star Wars would have Stormtrooper aim. Oops. Maybe get better fantasy, assholes. Maybe if you were into Warhammer 40K, he'd be dead now. But nope, you like Star Wars. Oh, how'd your little Jedi go? Oh, look at, my, look at me. I'm Boba Fett. I can't shoot my fucking gun. Ooh. Oh, look at me. I'm a Stormtrooper, daddy. Real good. Real good, asshole. I, you know, we should give a round of applause to the retard assassin. You've just elected Donald Trump. Talk about a catastrophic backfire, dipshit. That picture is going to be historic. Look at it. Fucking soak it in. They still talk about Teddy Roosevelt. They still talk about him getting shot. And then giving a fucking speech. Saying you can't keep a bull moose down. You've just done that for Donald Trump. You have... <laughs> You've 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 elected him. There's no way he's going to lose this election. You don't think this is a wake up call to people, to the apathy, uh, you know, apathy, uh, uh, apathy riddled uh, nihilists out there, the centrists out there, the people that have seen things get crazier and crazier, that have seen government policies that seem a little bizarre, that seem mainstream media seeming to constantly overstep, the rioters never get prosecuted, that activists can get away with bloody murder, the DAs don't ever prosecute that the police are just catch and releasing because they're told to, that states have to fight with the National Fucking Guard to keep their borders closed so they don't get overwhelmed with criminals? You don't think they've been watching that? You don't think people are tired of the fucking economy ass-raping them, bending them over and fucking them in their ass as people pretend like it's not broken? And then they check their shopping apps and find out that the shit they ordered three years ago that was 100 bucks is $600 now? That their rent is doubled? That a new truck costs 110000 fucking dollars? A smiling politician tell you everything's fine? And throw their money to foreign countries? Because we're not prepared to compete with anyone? What's the game plan here? Just burn it to the ground? So now we're going to go after Trump. We're going to prosecute him on anything we can prosecute him on. Civil case after civil case. Criminal case after criminal case. Anything to stop him from getting elected. And oh boy, that didn't work. Let's just fucking shoot him. Let's shoot him. That'll do it. But boy, did you miscalculate. That's iconic. That is an iconic fucking photo. There are going to be many of them. And they'll be in history books. <laughs> you idiots have no idea what you've done. Again, that's a eponymous they, like the royal we. What are, you know? Who are we? Who are we talking about? I think we know who we're talking about. I'm not trying to pin this on uh, every Democrat or every person that's on the left, but there is a large, large portion that have been allowed to basically act in an uncontrolled manner for far too fucking long. We saw that personally in my state, Minnesota, with George Floyd. All these riots, infrastructure getting burned to the ground, police precincts getting burned to the ground, businesses getting burned to the ground, and everybody was told insurance will cover it. The businesses will come back. They didn't. Downtown is a desolate shithole. Crime is through the fucking roof because they defunded the police. But all the people that were screaming those talking points about how terrible uh, Minnesota was, how terrible the police were, how terrible all these injustices were, they're using private taxpayer money for their own security forces. Welcome to anarcho-tyranny. That's where the politicians and the rich people, they're protected. But the police can't act because they're either fired or, or uh, kowtowed. And if you try to defend yourself from some kind of criminality, you get in trouble. Criminal breaks into your house, you stop them, you're in trouble. Enjoy shopping in a fucking uh, grocery store where every item is under lock and key. We have allowed our country our society, to sink to the lowest common denominator. We appease and appeal to the people that take the greatest advantage. And then we close our eyes and pretend it's not happening. We pretend that we just need to just get by to get on by. And the things will somehow magically work themselves out. They aren't. Things aren't magically working themselves out. Things are fucked. Things are really, really fucked. And I don't know if this is a, you know, a portent of things to come. Is this, is this uh, some insight in what to the future is going to be like? Are they going to start taking shots at him everywhere? What's the mainstream media's reaction going to be? What's, what's Biden's reaction going to be? 
eating a fucking ice cream cone and crapping himself? You're going to have to have Kamala come out and wipe his ass? Like, there's a point where you have to say enough. Just enough. No more. I think we're at that point where you're shooting politicians that are running for president. Where it's just that open, that that allowed. You know, after this happened, I'm sitting waiting, getting ready to do this stream about Boogie. And the first thing that happens, aside from memes and people shit posting and talking about what's going on, are people saying that it must have been um, a setup. Donald Trump must have hired somebody to shoot him with a BB gun to get a photo op. That's that's the story that they went with until news starts breaking that other people died, that they got shot and died. So it's not a photo op with BB guns. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm speechless. I, I don't really know how to process this. I, it's pretty it's pretty clear the cards are on the table. We have allowed extremists in this country to burn our cities to the fucking ground for five years, six years, seven years, eight years. We have allowed district attorneys to not do their jobs because of their associations with these groups. We have basically handicapped our police and our border patrol. We have uh, weaponized our government to go after things that are of non-importance rather than drilling, or dealing with the bigger issues. We've allowed that to happen. We've allowed the propaganda from the media and the uh, people that are in control of our social media to get to the point where we're told what to think and what we can fucking say and when we can fucking say it and what's fucking allowed to talk about and language we fucking use when we do it. Ooh, don't say rape. YouTube doesn't like it. That now we're at the point where he's getting shot. And that's on us. Because we allowed it. That's that's the honest truth. We allowed it. We allowed it. It's not that they take control. It's that we allowed them to take it. That every step of the way where we should have said, fuck this, enough. We're like, ah, it's, it's too busy. Too much shit going on. Economy's too bad. Got to worry about my rent. Fucking COVID lockdowns are going on. Oh, we got this shit going on in the Ukraine. Oh, what about Russia? Ooh, North Korea, China, and Taiwan. You know, look over here. Look at all this. Oh, all this other stuff's going on. Too much shit to pay attention to. Can't pay attention to this. It's fucking rotten to its core. This incestuous relationship between media, business, and government is fucking rotten to its core. And they're so blatant and smug about it. They don't give a fuck what you think about it. And this is the this is the uh, <laughs> fucking culmination of that. It's infuriating. Chat. That we've reached this point. Today he was supposed to be talking about Boogie. You know, I had a fucking Richard Simmons tribute because he's dead. And then, just out of nowhere, just shot at him. But boy, did you fuck up. Oh, did you fuck up in a catastrophic way. I don't think, you know, there are moments in history. Just, there. it's very rare. Let me, let me be blunt with you. It's very fucking rare that anybody gets presented a moment in history. You know, one of those really iconic things. Something that's going to go down and be remembered for fucking ever. And Trump knew it. Trump knew it. He gets shot. He's covered in blood. He's huddled over by all Secret Service and military. And police are up on fucking stage. He's talking about, where's my shit? What am I going to do? But you could tell. There's a moment where it clicked for him. He's like, this is, this is one of those defining moments. I can let them drag me out of here on a stretcher, looking weep or weak and enfeebled. Or I can act like I am. A man with some fucking balls. Not like Joe Biden, the ice cream eating, doddering old fool. So I'm going to stand up and fist pump and basically say, fuck you to the asshole that just tried to kill me. And then that's what you get. Thousands of photos getting shot. American flag waving in the background, blood dripping down his face, fist in the fucking air. Look at this photo. 
It looks like that secret service. It looks like the secret service agents are huddling around him for protection. This motherfucker got shot <laughs> in his head, and they are huddled around him for protection. He's like Daddy Bear. Are you seeing this shit? Look at this. People in the chat like God Emperor. You're goddamn right, God fucking Emperor. They are literally huddling around him like he's made of fucking titanium. Get the one in the front there. Oh, please, God, don't let him kill me, Donald. Don't worry. My blood will heal you. <laughs> I've, like, I've, I'm not fist pumping. I've caught the second bullet in the air. I miss her Miyagi, that shit. I don't even need chopsticks. Fuck them. I like, I have, I'm into better content than Star Wars. Other guy on the right looks stunned. He's looking right at the camera. He's like, holy shit. Are you seeing this? Are you, why, are you watching this? Are you watching what's happening? Are you, you viewing what's happening here? Teflon Don. It's not Teflon Don. That bullet didn't slide off him. This motherfucker ate it. He ate it and shit it out. There's a little, there's a little fucking <laughs> brass statue on that stage that Donald Trump's stomach crafted that just says, fuck you. It's a little bullet statue. He's, his body absorbed it and crapped it out. It says, fuck you, and it was aimed right at the guy that shot at him. And who is the guy that shot at him? You know, let's take a second. Let me take a second and see if I can find out what winner is the one that went after Donald Trump. Who's the shooter that took the fucking shot? Oh, I've already seen it trending. What do we have here? False flag as a trending topic on Twitter and BB gun. Because, boy, that was the cope. But now we've got tr the trending one is Antifa. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this. Let's see. We've got uh, a tweet up here. Someone lost his life. Donald Trump survived, but the assassination attempt had more than one victim. This isn't just an attempt. So they're saying it was Antifa. Reports that the, the assassin was an Antifa, an Italian YouTuber Antifa man by the name of Mark. Now, I can't jump right into it because I don't know if that's even real or not. But boy, give it some time. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Would you be surprised if it turned out to be Antifa chat? Would that surprise you? In fact, I don't think it would. I don't think it would fucking surprise anybody. Let me start a fucking poll. Would it surprise you if Star Wars uh, aiming idiot was Antifa? Yes or no? Let's see what the chat thinks. I know it takes a minute. I'll give you a second to catch up. There's always a bit of a delay. Do you think they're going to try to hide it? Do you remember the school shooting that took place where they went in there, the, the, the what was it, the Tredefesto and the sheriff and the state held on to that for almost a year without releasing it because, oh, it's too dangerous to let that out. We can't look at anybody. Nobody can look at this manifesto from this school shooter, whereas every other manifesto has always been released, but not that one. Finally comes out and it's as crazy as everybody thought it was going to be. You think they're going to hold on to this? You think this guy's got something in his background that's going to make people go, well, fuck, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Who, who would have guessed that the guy that tried to shoot Donald Trump turned out to be some fucking crazy Antifa member? Still not released in full. Of course it's not, Chad. Unfucking believable. I'll let that poll go for a minute as I, I'm digging through Twitter right now on the off chance that somebody does have something definitive. A lot of people saying the shooter is dead and that that's this Italian guy and that's it. There's no way. There's no way that's a real fucking headline. What? Okay, this, all right. So uh, on Twitter, Wall Street Silver had CNN headline up that said, Secret Service rushes Trump offstage after he falls at a rally. 
I'm like, that can't be real. But the thing is, there's a cached version of it. When you Google search CNN falls at a rally for multiple news organizations that had the same headline from about two hours ago. He's got blood dripping from his fucking head. He has blood dripping from his head. People scattered in the crowd. He fell at a rally? There's been an incident? Ooh, something untoward has happened? Do you mean somebody fired a bullet at the former president, Donald fucking Trump? Unfucking believable. Oh, yeah. They must get the news piped through different outlets. Because, yeah, that was this. I'm not even kidding you. This is a Fox station, by the way. Fox 13. Secret Service rushes Trump offstage after he falls at a rally. But when you click on it, it suddenly says, live update, shooter dead. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's a bit of a different story. So, yeah, I could imagine that was a CNN headline. That they were all going with it. Oh, I can't wait to find out who this shooter is. I can't wait to find out who this fucking shooter is. The rumor right now going around, again, I'm just going to refer to them as Mark, because I don't know, we could all be wrong. A well-known Antifa extremist reportedly uploaded a video on YouTube before the attack titled, Justice Was Coming, killed shortly, by, or, uh, shortly after shooting at Trump, at least two people dead. Oh, somebody has to have that video. Justice is coming. So are you telling me this was a, a foreigner, a, f a foreign Antifa member that came here just to kill Donald Trump? Wow. Wonder how they got in. Wow. Wonder why that was allowed to happen. Let's see how that poll's doing with our Star Wars aiming. Would it surprise you if this idiot was Antifa? Uh, no, was the, the answer. Uh, three quarters of you know. It wouldn't surprise you. Oh, great. Dinesh D'Souza. Let me read you a quote from Joe Biden, the doddering old fuck. Uh, this is a quote Dinesh D'Souza put up. This is something Biden said a few days ago. I have one job, and that's how to beat Donald Trump. I'm absolutely certain I'm the best person to be able to do that. So we're done talking about the debate. It's time to put, a tr it's time to put Trump in a bullseye. So Joe Biden putting out the message, it's time to put Trump in a bullseye. Two days later, he gets shot in his fucking head. Oh, no, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, everybody's just misunderstanding it, right? Oh, it's just a, it's misunderstanding. No, but ooh, whoops. Whoopsie doodles. What are we going to do? It just, it feels like the country's gone insane. It feels like lunatics are running the country. And I don't know what their end goal is. You can't say they're accelerationists. <laughs> Cause, because, like, they have some dystopic viewpoint of what they want the end goal to be rather than just change through fire. It's not, they're not accelerationists. I don't know what these people want. Everybody dead and miserable and broke and poor. You know, you are going to eat the bugs and live in the pod. That's a funny joke. But there are people that push this idea of no ownership. You're not going to own a house. You're not going to own a car. You're not going to own a bank account. You're not going to have your own money. Everything's going to be on credit. You're going to be wholly uh, devoted to and dependent upon the state. The state will take care of all your needs. I mean, is that the goal? Make everything so miserable, so fucking broken that you just you have no choice but to turn to the state? Make you sit in your house in fear because there are riots everywhere. Nobody gets prosecuted for any, anything. Cops can't arrest fucking people. You go to a grocery store and a fucking loaf of bread is under lockdown. Any politician that stands up to say otherwise gets shot in his head. Anybody that says something differently gets canceled on fucking social media. Can't make a living. No bank account for you. Can't have a job. Don't try to do this. Don't do that. Don't think this. Don't say that. Not allowed. And you get people that say, oh, the election was stolen. Was the election stolen? And it comes back to this smug, taunting attitude. Whether or not the election was stolen or not, they're fucking with you now. <laughs> they want to make it so it's just 
easy as pie to fucking uh, vote illegally. <laughs> Who needs a license? Who needs to be a citizen anymore? Who needs to even go to a voting place to do it? Just, hey, fuck it. Just write, uh, just crudely write the name of somebody on a piece of paper and slap it on a, I don't know, a fucking store window. We'll count that as a vote these days. Who gives a shit? Welcome to a narco tyranny. Nothing matters. You don't get to defend yourself. There's no security in your old age. We're, we're at a real fucking tough point, folks. We really are. There are some serious issues that face this country, especially economically. And it, it needs to get sorted out. Because I feel, I do, I feel bad for Zoomers and I feel bad for Gen Alpha because you guys are extraordinarily fucked. You're paying, you're paying rents that are double what people pay for mortgages. And when you try to get a mortgage, you don't have the money to do it. And if God help you, you find some way of fucking getting a down payment for a mortgage, what do you end up facing? It's some variable rate. It's not, it's not a set rate. So, oh boy, now you get to, you know, 10, 12% and you're just getting fucked in your ass can't find a job that does shit for you because there aren't any decent fucking jobs around anymore because you're going to get replaced by kiosks and robots and drones old people forced to work even longer because they can't retire anymore the social safety net so abused by people that the ones that's supposed to apply to it just isn't there for anymore and it won't be there for them when they need it kids today are really fucked you're not going to own a home. You're probably not going to own a car outright. You're not going to have the uh, security of Social Security. You're on your own. I mean, you're fucked. And the whole time that's going on, you're going to be told you're a piece of shit and that you should be grateful and you're overly privileged. And I don't know. Um, we need to bring in 300 million more fucking foreigners because that somehow is going to make it better. I just, I feel like I, I live in, a, it's like a lunatic asylum. It's just, it's been stagnant. We've reached like a, a political stagnation, a societal stagnation that's been in like a holding pattern for 10 years of just being decrepit without a solution to basic fucking problems. And it's this back and forth shit between the left and the right, except for some reason the left has decided to go full on insane. Because they allow these people around as pets. And they're just lunatics. I mean... <laughs> what was the college? Do you remember? Let, let me take you back about eight years. Was it Evergreen? What was the college? I think it was in... I'm going to say... Oregon or Washington. Where they had a, a day that was set up. That was supposed to be about you know inclusivity. In DEI. But they asked all the white people to leave the campus because they didn't want white people there. And a professor got upset about it. And it started this whole thing. That shit that went on with that, with that in that particular college, went on for four or five months. Of them endlessly haranguing and harassing everyone. Going against administration. Making things just shit for everyone. And they suffered no repercussions. There are no repercussions for shit like that. Burn a city down, no repercussions. Fuck an entire college up, no repercussions. Hell, uh, uh, just outright fraud and embezzlement, no repercussions. There's just, fuck it, nobody gets punished. Except for the people that speak a little too loudly. Except for the people we don't like. Take Alex Jones, for instance. Is Alex Jones a fucking idiot? Yes. <laughs> Gay frogs and, and protein powders, okay? As he said, really dumb shit about things, uh, different uh, events, school shootings, yes. But do you think Alex Jones should be sued for a quadrillion dollars? Do you think that he should be paying more money than money has ever been printed? And if they're able to go after Alex Jones, how the fuck is it when some Antifa member burns down a police precinct and uh, blinds somebody in their eyes with a fucking laser and that's caught on camera, they get given a day's worth of probation and let go? I, I just, there's like this disparity I'm not seeing here. It feels a little off to me. God, I hate politics. I just fucking hate it. I hate politics. But we've, we've, we've lost our mind. We've lost our mind. We're so far off fucking track. We've lost our minds. 
but I think it's uh, I think it's clear as day that um, Donald Trump is going to be the next president. That debate may, if that debate didn't seal it, okay, I'd be really surprised. But this, there's no way. This is too much. This is far too fucking much. This is too on the nose. It's too in your face. It's too blatant and smug. There is absolutely no fucking way he is not becoming the next president. And I'm actually now afraid. I am afraid if somebody does try to steal this from him, if there's some shenanigans that take place and they try to steal this next election from him, because it's going to end fucking badly. That's my gut feeling on it. You don't see a guy get shot in his head and bounce back and be like, fuck it, I'm still standing, and not get elected president when his competitor is a man that poops himself and mixes up the name of his vice president. There's just, there ain't no way this dude ain't going to be president. The idiot that fired that bullet has no clue the sequence of events that they put in place. And I look forward to watching mainstream media coverage, to seeing what politicians on both sides have to say. I want to see them tap dance around this. Let's see your fucking rhetoric now. Yo, Joe Biden talking about putting people in bullseyes. Oh, what unfortunate timing to say that. Now, do I think Joe Biden is actually, um, uh, what, <laughs> is actually saying shoot Donald Trump? No. But I'm saying I bet you somebody's stupid enough. Oh, we've got something. Looks like there's some, okay, we've got an update. Uh, we've got a news outlet saying the reports that are circulating currently on social media, our boy Mark, remember the Italian guy, that's not him. The video, the Italian video was actually uploaded in January of 2023, so it couldn't be him. See, that's what I'm talking about. You got to be careful because you never know. People like their shenanigans. They like to get out there and shitpost a little bit. I can't, I can't even imagine how many times Sam Hyde's name has been bandied about at this point. I'm sure, I'm sure there's at least one news outlet that's reporting that uh, good old Sam Hyde's out there uh, and has started a civil war. What was it Ann Coulter said about the longer it takes for them to release the identity of a suspect? I seem to remember she had some uh, quaint little saying about that. Chad, am I misremembering that? Wait for you to catch up. Maybe somebody can tell me if I've got the right saying. People saying it was Boogie. You know, you're not that far off. I, I did see, shockingly, <laughs> shockingly, this was going around. Do I, did I actually put this in? Oh, God, everything's all, everything's all fucky now. The bullet finally came down. That's me totally stealing that, by the way. I've stolen that, unrepentantly stolen that. It was funny. It was funny. It took years and years, but the bookster is responsible. The bullet finally came back down to earth. We got our guy. Somebody in chat saying, Coulter's Law. Now, I would imagine at an event this fucking large, with this many people, with this many cell phone cameras, somebody has to have that on film. Where is it? Where's the video? TV cameras everywhere, cell phone cameras everywhere. I know they're focused on Trump, but once those bullets started flying, once we heard bang, 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 pop, 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 somebody had to get that on film. I'm just really surprised it's not up on social media right this very fucking second. Yeah, uh, it, it's, this is so, <laughs> they gifted him uh, a photo op that you, you, like, uh, you couldn't, you couldn't pay for. You couldn't pay for this. This is PR on a scale that just, you can't make up. You just, it's gifted to you. He got shot and he stood back up. Would I have done that? I uh, Fuck, I don't know. I'd probably be on the ground crying like a little bitch. Be on the ground. Oh God, my ear! Look at him. He knew. I guarantee you, he knew. He knew. He fucking knew. This is it, man. 
This is that moment. This is that moment where I rise or fall. This is that moment where I show them what I'm made of. What kind of president and man am I? And he got back up and he fist pumped. Do you think Joe Biden would have? If this had been Joe Biden, he'd probably be pooping himself. He'd be on the ground crying, not because of a bullet, but because he dropped his vanilla ice cream cone. Yes, it's legendary fucking PR. And now we're all waiting. Hours later, who's the shooter? You know, what's their identity? We've got something. Killed a guy on video. Somebody's saying, well, I don't know what this video is. Let me just one second, chat. Is that the is that the guy to the Well it looks like somebody that's in some kind of camo up on top of a structure. But again, it's so it's so up in the air, I don't know. I'm sorry, if I'm going silent for a second, chat. I'm just I'm scrolling through the best I can to try to find any information about the shooter. So it looks like Mark the Italian, not the guy. Not our guy. Oh, this looks terrible, too. Uh, somebody's reporting, a source familiar with Trump's security detail tells uh, that the former and future president's detail has been asking for beefed-up protection and resources for the last few weeks, but has re been rebuffed time and again by Biden's uh, Department of Homeland Security. DHS, which oversees Secret Service protective detail, wasn't responsive to the requests for more resources. So you've got Biden saying, let's put a bullseye on his back and denying him extra security, and now he gets shot. Boy, that does look fucking terrible, doesn't it? Looks a little fucking suspicious, doesn't it? You know, I wish I had more info to give you. I do. I wish I had more info to give you. I wish we could go over who the shooter is. Maybe as the stream goes on and we're talking about Boogie, if that pops up, we'll stop talking about Boogie and come right back to fucking Trump. Because I want to know who the shooter is. Maybe if more details comes out about um, what the fuck just happened today or his condition or anything like that, we'll come right back to it. But as it stands now, here's what you need to know. Our country is headed towards uh, one of the most contentious elections we're ever going to see. And I think that, you know, we've had a couple of doozies this last two, but this one in particular, they're shooting at him. That's the point we've reached. They are so scared of Donald Trump that silencing him on social media, filing civil lawsuits, filing criminal lawsuits, uh, smearing him, none of that has done enough. He's still doing well in the polls, even leading in a lot of the polls. He's still doing well in debates. So we've reached the point where they're shooting at him. So what, what happens? Is there an escalation with that? Are the attempts that are going to be made on him going to be more blatant? Are they going to use bombs next? Or are they going to go after his most vocal supporters? Maybe try to scare uh, the people that are going to vote for him? We've entered into the era of intimidation. This is a attempted assassination. And even it's in its failure, the goal would now be to intimidate you. To intimidate you from showing support, to intimidate you for voting for him, to intimidate you from talking about it, because you don't want to get shot, you don't want to get fucked with, you don't want to get fired, you don't want to get deep banked, you don't want to get silenced, you don't want to get canceled. Enough. I'm sick of listening to this bullshit that's been pandered for the last three weeks about uh, Agenda 2025. Ooh, Donald Trump's going to come into office, and the first thing he's going to do is and he's going to unfurl a Nazi flag. And then there's going to be Hitler speeches played 24 hours continuously nonstop. And he's going to goose-step his way over little black boys' bodies as he screams, Throw him back! Get him out of my country! Agenda 25! you got to watch out, Donald Trump's coming in! He's going to make, he's, everybody's going to have to have a swastika etched in their forehead. Donald Trump, Agenda 2025, fuck off. 
All right, just fuck off with your fairy tales and nightmare scenario shit. Good God. <laughs> Fucking lunacy. All right, I'm sorry. I got a little heated. It's a current event, sure. But how the fuck do you not talk about the attempted assassination of a presidential candidate? One that's been it's just at the heart of American politics now for a decade. And one of the most contentious elections coming up. How, how would you not talk about that? And that's a thing I think they underestimate, and that's a thing that's going to hurt the most. Is it won't just be online where it can be controlled. This is water cooler talk. This is the sort of shit people see and hear and, you know, come to find out about. And then they're talking around the water cooler at work. And oh boy, is that going to have some repercussions. Because you don't got a Discord furry mod that can run into the water cooler when you're talking to Jake at 6 in the morning and be like, Oh, you can't talk about this. Uh, fur fang love. People will talk about this in their daily lives, their personal lives. They get a lot of centrists, a lot of people that were maybe leaning one way or the other or just disinterested. They're going to be like, this is pretty fucked up. Why do they want to kill this guy? Maybe I should start listening to what he's saying. If they're so desperate to kill him, maybe he's got something worth listening to. Because that other guy, sure, he's incoherent. He's calling everybody by the wrong name. I don't think he even knows what day of the week it is. Fucking shit. Oh. Now that was our, that was our opening. That was our little opening. Nice short, you know, short little opening. Just talking about the topical things. Again, I'm not your political guy. You're going to get much more incise, um, detailed, uh, cutting, deep, deep cut uh, political analysis from the people that are really tuned into this. That's not me. I don't pretend that that's me. I can just give you my gut feelings on it from the way I'm looking at it. It's a reaction to what I've seen. But I'll tell you this. I am, I was, apathetic. A little bit nihilistic. I didn't agree with, uh, you know, his platform because it didn't really appeal to me. But guess who's voting for Trump now? <laughs> Just fuck you. That's my response. You've literally convinced me to vote for Donald Trump, and I never did before. But now I'm going to, just to spite you. Just to spite you. Mega. Oh, Donald and Juju come. I don't even care. Mega. Mega for life. You've convinced me. Because when I see a motherfucker take a bullet and bounce back up on his legs and be like, try again, I'm voting for him. That's how it is. That's just the reality of it. If a motherfucker can take a bullet, or bullet, he can take my vote. I think that that's like, that should be like a political thing. Oh, did you get shot and survive and not even give a fuck? Did you just did you Chad walk your ass off stage bleeding like it ain't a thing? You've got my fucking vote. And how many people do you think that's going to apply to? Oh, I bet you there's a lot. I bet you there are a lot of people that aren't really tuned into politics or don't really care. They're kind of detached. And they're going to see this and be like, ah, fuck. Everything's shit. I'm, you know, I'm just going to vote for the dude that took a bullet and didn't give a fuck. Man's up there literally saying YOLO. I think he earned that vote. <sighs> now. Before we do boogie, I think it's important that we take a moment, really. Let me just um, pull down the Trump picture for a moment. That we take a moment, because it's been a hectic day. It's not just Jesus, not just Donald Trump. All right, it's not, it's not just Donald Trump, not just boogie. A legend is dead. <laughs> Somehow, Donald Trump has used his mega magic to teleport the bullet that was meant to end his life and has inserted it directly into the skull of Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons is dead. The legend of all time, Richard Simmons. Our little acrobat, our little aerobic instructor. Richard, who spent his life dedicated to tormenting fat people. A lot of people don't know this, but Richard Simmons hated fat people. And his whole let's get exercising thing was just his way of viciously bullying them. He would make workout routines he knew would never lose them weight, just so he could take their money and laugh at them. That was his game plan from the start. In fact, I'm pretty sure he left a, a note, uh, you know, uh, on his deathbed that said, just so you all know, I fucking hate fat people. Signed, Richard. It's pretty based, to be honest. 
So I put a, I put together a little tribute for Richard. I, you know, I'm going to let, instead of doing like break music, cause it's like five minutes anyway. So I think it's fitting. So let's do our tribute. Oh, sevens in chat. Rest in peace, little Richard. And we'll come back after I better go grab a drink, get a drink. If you need one, we'll, we'll get into the boogaloo, the boogaloo shit show. One second, Chad. I know. Oh my God, Jim, show it on screen. Well, I've got to, I want to make sure we almost fucked up with Mark. We almost fucked up with Mark. So let's, let's see. Trump shooter. Let's double check this. How did the shooter even get on the roof? I've been at several of the events and there's no way anyone can get that close. Yeah, there's a lot of questions about what the fuck is going on with this. Yeah, there's video of him being dragged out, but nothing else. Oh, okay. Well, I think that might be the shooter. I can't show this on screen. Okay, listen, chat, there's no way I can show this picture on screen. Um, but if you go to Twitter, to the account of uh, Tara La Rosa, T-A-R-A-L-A-R-O-S-A, -A -A um, there's a close-up headshot of, uh, yeah, he got fucking annihilated by a sniper. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'm going to guess this is the guy. Okay, so let's see if we got any information on who they are. Oh yeah, they've got they're, they're okay, so footage is starting to come out. We're getting some fucking footage of him getting annihilated. Oh, what is going on here? Chat. I'm trying to find like a picture where his head is intact <laughs> so I can show it to you. Yeah, there are a couple different views. There are a couple different angles showing that he was set up on a rooftop uh, a little ways from the event to try to get like an angle on Trump. But the weird thing is we've got a guy on the rooftop. Okay, this is what I don't get. There are pictures floating around of a guy on a rooftop with his head blown off. But there's also pictures of Secret Service and uh, deputies arresting somebody in the crowd. So were there more than one person? Was this like two different people, one a distraction, the other the actual shooter? Is this going to be some like grassy knoll shit? I just don't get it. I mean, it's been, what, three hours, four hours since this happened? Five hours? How do we not have a definitive ID on who this is? Why isn't this everywhere right now? Am I missing it? Is this uh, put up somewhere that it's just not showing up for some reason? Oh, let me see. Let me. I'm reading through. Somebody's saying uh, the guy in the crowd. What was that? The guy in the crowd. Oh, the guy in the crowd was dead. Was that somebody that's now? Okay. So the guy in the crowd that they were dragging out was somebody that got shot by the sniper. So an unintended victim, or maybe he intentionally fucking shot him. Yeah, this is... This is planned out. If this guy was set up on a rooftop at that angle on that building with... Yeah, this was fucking hell. God, I, I almost want to go see... I'm trying to look for, here's the weird thing. I'm looking for like, uh, you know, I want to see what is, you know, what has Biden said about this? Again, we're taking a momentary break just to, just to see the information. Uh, this is what Biden said two hours ago. I've been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I'm gra or I'm grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family. And for all those who are at the uh, rally, we await further information. Jill and I are grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. There's no place for this kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. That's really weird. He's grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. Wasn't there just a report we read at the start of the stream where Trump had asked for increased Secret Secur or Service uh, security detachment because of a risk? 
and they were denied. Biden's DHS denied them. It's almost like he's taunting him. Fucking hell. Yeah. Let's see. This is this is fucking weird. There should be there should be way more information on who the shooter is. Sorry, just give me a second as I dig through here. I'm trying to find a something good. Um, what I can tell you now is there are photos of people. It looks like the guy. He's on a separate building. His head is clean off. There's a video of a sniper or a counter sniper taking him out. But there's no, like, ID. There's no name. There's no, hey, yep, that is him. Oh, man, I, I cannot wait to see the polling that's going to come out of this. All the shit that's been going on, it's just unreal. All right, well, that's your your uh, up to the up to the minute Donald Trump update. Still no definitive ID on the shooter, but his picture's out there. It's uh, looks like a white guy in his 20s, uh, completely annihilated, set up on a rooftop, a couple of videos. Uh, showing him up there, but it looks like uh, the videos that are there are ones of him after he got shot. I don't think there's been a video put up of him getting shot yet. Somebody said, I tweeted you a picture of him. All right, well, let me take a look. All right, this is who they're saying the shooter is? All right. Okay, give me a second here. Let's, uh, let me put it up in this thing uh because his head's not blown off in this so i can show this uh, i can i can neither confirm nor deny this is a shooter uh just so everybody's aware of that but this is a uh, one that's circulating around everywhere in case you're curious as to who we're dealing with uh this is alleged the photo does match up with the one of the guy with his head blown off i mean this does look like the same dude that would be that would be your shooter allegedly again allegedly just like we had what was it mark earlier on it turned out to be the italian guy was not the shooter so allegedly are we getting sam hided i don't know but this is a picture going around social media uh this is the one that matches up with the dead guy on the rooftop outside the venue uh that had an angle on the president this isn't um this isn't the guy from the crowd. This is the guy from the rooftop. <laughs> Did somebody in chat say, is that iDubs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Has it reached that critical point? The iDubs. You went from content cop to uh, 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 shooting at the POTUS. Is that what you're telling me? That's a rough fall. I see everybody's commenting on the chin. Yes, I've noticed the chin too. Yeah, a tr chat, is that a truned out iDubs? Potentially, chat. It's a potentially a truned out iDubs. It's potentially what we're dealing with, yes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. Thank you very much for the picture, by the way. I like uh, somebody sent me somebody sent me Goatsy on Twitter. That was very nice of you, but I'm not live streaming fucking Twitter, so it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. Oh no, no no no! Felt it, Ralph. Is that that can't be true? How are we sure that's true? Somebody saying the shooter has been identified as a, a trainee that posted on the 4chan fashion board. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, I have to go check. Uh, breaking news. Fashionista goes on killing spree. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can pull this up. See if I can find this information. I'm just, I'm trying to see if that's true. If you're just uh, pulling that one out. My God, every single thread on poll is just a picture of Trump holding his fist up. 
this is the most God Emperor shit I've seen. You know, uh, Paul really, really kind of turned on uh, Trump. <laughs> but boy, they are, they are fucking fully behind this shit. I guess watching a dude take a bullet and then walk it off is pretty fucking impressive. All right, let me see. Let me see if there's any information. Why do we not have a name or some kind of identifying feature or something going on here? <laughs> oh, God, there's so much that I wish I could share. I wish, God, I wish it was like older YouTube, you know, where you could you could put some stuff up, but you can't. Sorry, Chad, I know. Well, it's a more we're a little more relaxed right now as I dig through to try to find confirmation. Was this person posting on uh, fashion? Oh my God, what a, that would be! That would be something else. <laughs> I think I, I think I think they're fucking with me. Is what I think. Yeah. Again. Oh, 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 we got one here. What is this? Yeah, here's the, again, this is what I'm having trouble with. How the fuck do we not have a definitive name yet? How do we not have a name? How do we not have a name or more more footage or more anything in an event that, that, that has been broadcast this much? Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Lots of goatsies. Thank you all for the goatsies. Love seeing that spread asshole. That's always that's always good. Wakes you right up. Uh, the guy in the crowd was a victim. Okay. Yeah, I wondered why they were going for a guy in the crowd, but you couldn't really see what they were doing. But that makes sense if it was a victim. Yeah, this has to be. It had uh, you know I'd go with it being the shooter, but I don't know. Can we get a name? Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give it time. We'll give it time. We'll see what comes through for it. You know, we were going to jump into the boogie thing with Destiny. That's what we're going to do. Let me just get that queued up. And I will... Uh... What happened there? Oh, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll, I'll get that queued up. Pull that down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, when we get more breaking news on uh, who the fuck this guy is, uh, we'll definitely, definitely return with it here. For now, I, you know, I, let me do one last check and see if the Trump shooter has been identified by name or if we found their YouTube channel and they're a spaz. No, we've got like a million pictures of him fist pumping, though. God damn, that picture is going to be in a history book. Yep, still, still nothing. I'm still not seeing anything super new here. Oh, wait, wait, we might have something. Hold on. House of Suspected Trump Shooter. They're giving the, a name. I'll just do the first name right now. Maxwell. Put into jail for one year uh, for protesting against Trump. Also, check out the photos. Oh, shit, that does look like him. Oh, wait, nope, nope, now we've got something else. Shooter at Trump rally identified as a 20-year-old male from the local area. Name has not yet been released. Yeah, it's too, all, it's too all over the place. They've got a picture, but nobody knows for sure. I just don't like it. I don't like it when they hold it back. You'd think they'd fucking put it out there, but... Were how many hours passed? And still, still no information. What a fucking day. Trump gets shot at, walks it off. Richard Simmons dies, and we give him a little tribute. Boogie continues to destroy his life because he's an idiot. Didn't get a chance, really, to look at low-tier credit, but <laughs> he's got his own shit. How did they find his credit report? How the fuck did they get that information? That still boggles my mind. 
I mean, sure, they could have brute forced, I guess, as social, but um, you'd think there'd be, like, some safeguards, or he would have been aware that this was happening. Maybe he got, like, uh, you know, tricked. He got fooled and gave out the information from some, like, Fising scam, and he wasn't paying attention. Some kind of backdoor on his computer. I, I don't know. But it's really weird. But I've been watching that. Oh, boy. All right, let's change the segment overlay here. Oops, hold on one sec, chat. Super Chats, there we go. I'll get Ko-Fi and Cash App up here, and we'll start reading through stuff. Everybody that came out uh, and stuck around, uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I know it was a bit scattershot. Uh, that's mostly because some lunatic tried to kill Donald Trump. Who fucking, uh, it, it's just unreal. It's unreal. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll see who the shooter ends up being, what their background is, if they're connected to anybody. Um, I have a feeling it's the start of a shit show, and it'll be interesting to see where it leads. It's just, uh, I don't know if, how wild this fucking election season is going to get or where it's going to go. As for um, Richard Simmons, rest in peace, I guess. And uh, had to talk about that, and then Boogie, of course. So it was a, a little bit all over the place. I had a, a different sh a show structure kind of planned, but uh, the Trump thing was too... I, I mean, come on, you can't... Uh, Where's that picture? Did I get rid of it? No, I didn't get rid of it, did I? Oh, no, it's a different angle. Yeah, it's a second angle of him giving a fist pump. <laughs> They're all giving him a group hug. And he's like, no, let me at him. I want to fucking kill that son of a bitch. I love it. He looks mad. I like that he looks mad. That's that's part of why I like this particular picture. He looks pissed off. Like, you took a shot at me. I'm going to kick your ass. Let me at the motherfucker that just shot at me. He looks like, that's some, like, you, you realize how old he is. Like, I'm trying to imagine, like, some typical grandpa gets shot in the head. And it's like, let me at him. I'm going to fuck him up. But, nope, that's Trump. He's ready He's ready to go start some shit. I'll teach him a fucking lesson, buddy. Punish Donald. <laughs> there you go. Punish Donald. Oh, man. This country's fucking insane. Be sure to pay attention. Well, you just watch the next couple of days, like that CNN article, that Fox one. Donald Trump fell at a rally. No, you mean he got shot in his head? The fuck? Just watch uh, watch the news coverage in the shed. It'll be real eye-opening as to uh, who says what and why. Uh, but anyway, like I said, thanks for coming out. I'm going to get all the Super Chat stuff up and ready and ready to go. <laughs> Excuse me, fuck. <clears throat> Uh, let me shill hats one last time. I'll put the hat song on. We'll get into Super Chats. Everybody else, like I said, they came out. Thanks for coming out. Um, keep your eyes peeled. That information on the shooter has to come out eventually. They can't hold on to it forever. I don't know who's going to drop it, if it'll get leaked, what it, whatever. But within the next 24 hours, we should have a name. I get the distinct feeling that they know the name, obviously, and they're probably trying to scrub every piece of social media because they do that every time, but this time it's a real big deal. So, like, every YouTube account, every Instagram, all that shit. I bet they release a name and they're like, oh, this guy had no online accounts. What a coincidence. Yeah, I'm sure. What a shock. Oh, wow, it's so surprising they have uh, nothing online. Who, Whoever foresaw that coming? Okay, let's see here. Okay. Uh, anyway, have a good night uh, for those uh, taking off. Everybody sticking around. Uh, give it a couple minutes. I'm going to let the merch song play, and then uh, we'll jump into Super Chats. Well, there we go. From Gen Janeska? I'm saying that right? Sending cigarette cash. Bless the archivers. Yeah, the archivers and restreamers do a, a bang-up job. Because usually I always delete my streams right afterwards. I always find it weird. People get upset. They're like, oh, you can't. I don't want people restreaming my stuff. Don't put my clips. I don't give a shit. If you're a restreamer, restream the shit out of it. Go ahead and monetize yourself. I don't care. Put those clips up. Make that money. From Reese, uh, except Christ, I was saved. So can you, Jim. I love you. Well, thank you very much. From Esoteric, uh, Neil Gaff was right about hanging Boogie. Yeah, Boogie has not been super popular with really any community that's existed online. Eventually, the tides turn and they all start to fucking hate him. From Kenny, uh, Lolcal IBS. Got one from Logan here. Gonna miss the stream, sorry. Uh, love you, Jim. Well, hey, things happen. And I think we're caught up on Cash App. Oh, nope, uh, two more here. I'll pop through those, and then we'll jump over out of Ko-Fi. 
uh, one from Austin, but there's no message on that one. And then one from James. Boogie was aiming at the Children's Cancer Ward. I'm fairly certain we all know that. <laughs> I think that's I think that's where he was going. Yeah, you're right on that. It's terrible. Well, wow, what kind of man would do such a thing? Okay, let me load up Kofi. This takes just a second. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Actually, let me jump over real quick. I'm going to check Twitter one more time, see if we got any information on the shooter. Holy shit, somebody has footage of him opening shot. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, wow, they've actually got footage of him up on the rooftop opening fire. Should we go for it, chat? Should we go for it? Chat! Let me uh, let me just pull this up. See, I knew somebody would have to have video footage of this. It just has to exist. Okay, one one second here. Let me just just get it up here. Of course, TMZ. Why would TMZ not be the one to have the fucking footage of this? Of course. All right, let's go, boys. So this is allegedly the first uh, footage we've got of the shooter actually up on the rooftop, on the depot, whatever it is, across the street from the rally. Um, this is him caught live on video lining up his shots. So let's take a look here. Hold on one sec. Pull it up on Firefox. Hopefully you can see that. That's as good as I can get it. I don't know about the audio. I'll just as we go. Toby's turning this way. Be careful, guys. Holy shit, did they take him out that quickly? Did you hear that guy? He said he's down already. That was in the span of 30 seconds. Wow, their counter sniper took his head off in less than 30 seconds. Dude, that's exactly why we need fucking Trump here. Oh, the fucking Secret Service don't fuck around, man. Holy shit. Yeah, they weren't fucking around. They took his ass out immediately. Did you see that shit? Chat. That was, that was so quick. He opened fire, and they took him out in the span of seconds. That sniper, that counter sniper, whoever that was, took his ass out without hesitation. Um, actually, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, actually, was that wrong? Is that where he wandered off to? Is he is he on the grassy knoll with the shooter? Jesus. Holy shit. Um, uh, you, want me to, you want me to play it again? People are saying playing it again. I mean, that's fine. I can do that. Let me reload this. Again, the top, uh, you might be a little confused. Uh, the top of what you're looking at is actually a still frame shot showing him just lined up ahead. But the bottom portion, the second half of the uh, video itself is a live video. So there's a photo on top and then the live video itself. You see what I mean? Like how there's a split. So, but I'll play it. I play it one more time here. If you want to hear Ross in the background, umma, umma, umma. Toby's turning this way. Be careful, guys. Yeah, 
Ross, where are you? Mama is very upset right now. Ross is really getting his ass re reamed out, isn't he? <laughs> Just, she's got the most shrill voice. Ross, where are you, my baby boy? Ross, where did you go? The sniper's on the rooftops, Ross. You hush now, Ross. You're making Mama mad. Holy shit. See if you can find a local interview with a dude named Ross looking embarrassed as fuck as his mother screams in the most, like, cliched Brooklyn Jewish old lady voice <laughs> in the background screaming for him as he's trying to, like, duck his head like, I don't know who she is. I don't know. I don't know lady. I've never met her before in my life. I'm not sure who the, I'm not sure who she is. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? I'm not sure who this woman is. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. It's not me at all. Okay, so this is what I was waiting for. I, I figured eventually we were going to start getting some footage. God, they took him out. I'm trying to see if, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm just taking a second to see if there's any more footage. Okay, yeah, no, they've identified him. And it was a picture of the dude we saw earlier. So it is Thomas Matthew Crooks, um, 20 years old, from Bethel Park. AR-15 is what he had on him. Uh, shot in the head after he tried taking out the former president. They've got another, like, I, where are they getting all these side profile pictures from? Somebody has access to his social media. Just dump it. We, we need to know. We need to know, don't we, chat? Let me, let me put, I'll put up another picture for you. So you can take a quick look. It's a little better than the previous one I put up. Uh, but this is apparently the dude. Uh, there you go, chat. That is the shooter. That is our 20-year-old shooter that got taken out in like the blink of an eye by the counter snipers. I don't know. Somebody in chat saying, uh, do they have his uh, Reddit account? I don't know. I don't know if they've got his fucking Reddit account. <laughs> Chat's got some very mean things to say about this particular gentleman. Trying to see if we can find more, more photos. Some kind of uh, social media. They have more. Yeah, no, I've seen the the moment the sniper takes out the Trump shooter is a fucking amazing, uh, amazing clip. I've seen that one. Yeah, the counter sniper footage is really good. Uh, that's up there. Yeah, whoever that counter sniper is needs an award. I mean, they. If you're looking at the the uh, video we just watch of where you hear that first shot go off, he pops off a couple shots. Like, that sniper cued him in and took him out without fucking hesitation. Yep, I would agree. I mean, that, that photo is a dead ringer for what you're looking at. Yeah, because they've got two pictures from the different parts of the day, and then this one with the underbite. With the underbite. Okay. There's there's your shooter. So, I mean, you know, it started out as a mystery as to who the fuck the person was that was shooting at the president. Um, now we have a, a, a possible name and a possible identity, and the pictures all match up pretty fucking well, especially with the uh, video footage of him shooting, getting shot at, and then the headshot photo that's circulating around. Um, now really it's just what are his social media accounts and what crazy shit has he said. We did the poll at the beginning of the stream, is this guy going to be Antifa, if you remember that? And uh, shockingly, 98% uh, were like, oh, he definitely is. Oh, there's no there's no doubt in our minds that he is definitely Antifa. Uh, 